Hello, it's Ashton. And it is John. What up, guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... Land, Children, and Community by the channel Mimir's Bruner. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I think this is the one video that we've seen that was talking about, like, your family heritage and how everything's added up to this moment. This is, like... It was a great video. Very, like, motivational and just upbeat. It gets I you, like, pumped so. for life. Um, this was a suggestion from Sun... Avcv Reich. Sorry. <laughs> Son Avcv Reich. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's Jesus. what it looks like it's written as, okay, dude. Okay, Hitler. I'm just saying it because it's funny as fuck. Anyway, guys, you guys can also help support the channel. Click on that land link down below in the description if you throw down through Streamlabs. We're gonna let you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include video link title, your email, and let's get to that video. That was so dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> like double chin and all. All right. Without land, we have nothing. I love this, this shit. The land yes. is the lifeblood of a people. The land shaped you when you it. The inner essence of each is merged and reflected. Are you trying to pause it? I fucking hate you. Okay, I'm going to go back like five seconds. Okay. I just want to say this really quick. I think it's so fascinating seeing like when you go on vacation and stuff and you see the world, you know, a lot of times you just kind of overlook things. You don't really pay really much attention to the small things in life like nature and stuff just like right now in this video it's just so beautiful looking at it and if you really pay attention and you try to be happy and you try to focus on all them little things in the world like even when the birds are flying around and stuff like it's just so interesting when you just look at things you know if you just look at it just look you at get it what i'm saying though yes like there's just so the world that we live in is just so incredible it's so fascinating and beautiful it just i don't know i love it but anyway, I love this kind of video, these kind of videos, and I think, I don't know, I just think they're cool. Well, good. Huh? What were you uh, looking at? Oh, your ponytail. I know, my hair's ratchet. The inner essence of each is merged and reflected in the other. Under tutelage of the long winters, the northern European became brilliant. What at first seemed harsh and cruel, taught him to be practical, plan ahead. In the vastness of the forest, he learned to reflect in solitude. He danced around great pyres in reverence to its majesty. As he stared into the deep dark woods, they stared back. So pretty. We got some <laughs> Lord of the Rings scenes in the middle of it, though. That's awesome. Was that really from <laughs> yeah, Lord of the Rings? Yeah, man, that's Gandalf leading that. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Go back and look. It's a dude with a wizard cap on. <laughs> what the fuck? Seriously? That's awesome, dude. I think the point is is just to show, like, you know, the scenery and the past, like, the the back when you rode on horses and stuff you know that's another thing that's really cool is how over time things just change so much it's really cool to mm -hmm. see i don't know for sure but i'm getting that reference anyway that's so cool mm -hmm. you should go on a he's never been on an airplane mm -hmm. when you go up on an airplane it is so cool Remarkable. oh that's dope to ancient groves he carved his inner beauty into the land. The land provides us with nourishment for both body and soul. And like a babe torn from its mother, a man without land lacks the essentials of life. You do not want to watch this kind of stuff high. You get way too into it. <laughs> yeah. In modern times, land has lost all spiritual value. True that. Whilst going up monetarily, borders once marked with our dead are now being overrun. With claims no man can be illegal, borders are being contested. Not by standing armies. Oh shit, it's talking about immigration. Intellectuals. Oh. Question their very concept. As our grip on our sacred homelands loosens, so in turn does our grip on existence. Oh 
god. Not the, what's no. it called? The, uh, the obelisk. The obelisk, yeah. The fifth element. That's cool, dude. I want to learn how to do that. That was pretty cool, but I don't get why it was showing it. I'm, I'm confused right now. I'm lost. Because everything's just so, like... It's like I'm on an acid trip, but I'm not yeah. on an acid. Nor have I ever been, but this is what I imagine it would be like. Try it. No, I'm good. I'm just kidding. Fuck that. <sighs> Illuminati. <laughs> that reminds me of my video. Are you naughty or nice? <laughs> Dude. Aww. None are as precious to us as our children. A simple smile upon their face can put the world into perspective. The culmination of the efforts and struggles of not only us, oh, he knocked them down. but all who came before. They are the literal embodiment of our future. Through our ancestors, we stretch back to the world's beginnings. And through our children, we extend into eternity. As a sacred link in this unbroken chain, we are duty bound to secure their future. Failure to do so means all ancestral effort was ultimately in vain. the suspenders that the little boys had on like i don't know if that's scottish or like um swedish swear, go or what back to it. you'll see it. it'll pop up again i swear you'll see a little boy with like the little suspenders on there green like right there that kid's got them not only oh, symbolic yeah. of our future hopes but also of noble ideal i forget where that culture comes from but it's energy and limitless imagination i don't know but i think they're really cute yeah i mean Little boys in suspenders. I don't know. I think that's really adorable. Um, I don't, Super adorable. I'm not sure where that where that came from. I'm not really sure either. Because I feel like it might be a Scottish thing. Swedish with well, kilts and stuff. You know, that's more Scottish. But yeah, it could be actually. Swedish, right? Or is that Danish? Guys, I don't know a lot about that. Kind I don't of either. We Let learned us... some stuff through videos, but... Well, it's not stuff you learn about. I mean, not here anyway. Like, we don't no. go to school to learn about what they really wore, you know? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, over in S Sweden, they wear this. No, we don't learn. I think I can relate that outfit with yodeling based off of what I've learned. <laughs> yeah, like if you go to, like, the Renaissance Festival or something, right? Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. Or what? there is something we went to in school. Was it the Renaissance? No, we and went they came to the in Canadian. With, they were wearing like uh, kilts and stuff. Oh no, I never went there. You never went to that. Uh -uh. And they were dancing around and playing instruments and stuff. Huh? We, I did. I don't know where it was though. I don't know. They represent the noble soul in its purest form. With shameless joy, they express themselves. Look how cute their hair was. Full attention to every action, no matter how small. To observe children at play is to observe the magic of the universe in full creative form. With the human experience becoming a condition, the noble nature and energetic enthusiasm of the child are reduced to disorders. Nothing is sacred. Under guise of protection, poison is injected under guise of freedom pure minds polluted for those with none to care a living hell is manifest Six, 
As they Jesus. strip our children of their purity, they strip us of our nobility. It's a little boy. Yep. For only a wretched bastard would allow such indignity. Community is what we build upon the land and bring our children up within. Through community, man can achieve a truly genuine life. Within a sound community, a man has value. He belongs. Belonging is crucial for healthy development, and with it, the man gains purpose. Purpose gives meaning to action. Through it, even death is conquered. A man with such self-worth becomes impenetrable to lies. For he knows life's value and his duty to it. As the local is replaced by the global, men lose their value. He shops in international corporations and in the news, he hears of far-off floods and tragedy. The local becomes mundane. It begins to shrink till he himself shrinks. He loses touch with his surroundings and eventually himself. Lacking in all self-worth, he feels powerless and becomes apathetic to even his own destruction. Without community, man is reduced to mere existence without context. He becomes the walking dead. We had to mute that because of the train. It was so loud. Dude, he's got like very powerful messages in his videos. Like, I don't really grasp does. all of it, but it, like every video, like, well, we've seen two now, so I guess I can't say every video, but the last one was like really motivational and just extreme. It makes you like actually kind of pumped about being a human in a way, about just being alive and what you are now. And so just thinking about other things, it really breaks it down. Um, it's hard to describe that feeling, to be honest, because right. you never talk about it. But it's really cool. Go and subscribe to his channel if you like those kinds of videos. It's Mimmers Burn. Um, the link will be down below in the description. It's I very important to support the channels that you love. I feel like we didn't give much, or we don't give much feedback on that one. It's kind of hard, guys. It's a like, hard topic, really. To I mean, plus I, for me, it's hard to understand the full meaning of that video. Like I get bits and pieces, but some of it just doesn't really like. We are kind of sh like word for it okay. blocked away from what's really going on in your own community and yeah. everything nobody's really involved anymore it's all become more of like online stuff and whatnot it's kind of destroyed our society in a way youtube does it too you know sadly but mainly like facebook twitter instagram all that stuff well it's less real world more convenient you, yeah. know, you go on facebook and you message somebody instead of calling them or writing them a letter you know Going i need to see them yeah i'm really um I'm very, I don't know what the proper term would be, but the way I see things is I love technology. I don't have a Facebook. I don't like Facebook. I used to use it all the time, but I, I hate it now. Like, I deleted it because I hate it. He still has one, but 
I have an Instagram and a Snapchat and, you know, YouTube and Patreon, whatever, uh, my personal YouTube, but I don't prefer to communicate in, like, whatever through an online thing. I prefer right. to go talk to somebody and, like, actually create those, like, memories and, like, those real conversations instead of like an online meaningless thing like i just can't i can't really describe it but i get you and you know especially another thing like with your children and stuff he was talking about how when they play or whatever it's like i can't remember his wording but you're pretty much experiencing like one of the greatest things watching your children play and grow up it's like it's so many people go to work and you can't spend as much time with your kids as you want to and that's why we're really fortunate that we can do this at home because we get to spend a lot of time with her compared to like before I was the one home with her constantly and he was always working and he missed out on a lot of her life and I think about that like with my parents I don't remember my mom being around much but apparently she was around all the time we were just always outdoors and active and stuff but my dad, he, nowadays, he's like, you know, I really wish I would have spent more time with you kids and stuff. And I remember him being there all the time. I remember, you know, but looking back at it, he feels bad because there's so much you miss out on. And that's life. You know, that's like one of the best things. It, it is the best thing when you have children. It's the best thing. But you oftentimes, like, not really neglect them, but you get caught up in, like, work and doing things where you can't fully watch everything that shapes them into the human that they are. True I can't that. really describe in better wording, but I don't know. In the world we come from, too, I mean, it's such a beautiful thing we're given, and I think a lot of us take it for granted. We don't really understand the meaning of life, and true meaning is just to be happy and cherish, you know, time it's that life. you have. Yeah. Meaning of life is to live, guys. Um, go and subscribe to Members Burn, guys, if you like that video, and peace out. Bye.